Here it comes. I just love that cheesy 80s drum sound. That is, that's a great song, though. I love it. Absolutely yeah. love that record. Trooper, great band. Zuma Radio AM 740, downtown FM 96.7. My name is Neil. Good morning. Jane Brown is here, our special guest co-host, joining us for this, the Happy Gang this morning. Jeff Lumby is in studio. Thanks for doing this. This is really great because you have celebrities through the week and then me here today, which is so much. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I notice Neil's not calling you celebrity co-host. No. But you deserve the celebrity no. co-host yes, title. Of course he does. No, co-host is just fine. I'll just take that. That's fun. <laughs> of course he does. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow morning on the show, by the way, uh, Andy Kim will be here. Yeah, a real celebrity. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and uh, on Friday, Jan R. Is yep. in the studio. Yep. Celebrity. Yep. <laughs> Cut it out. Something uh, must have fallen through. Like who? Who canceled? <laughs> That's what I really no, want to know. You were no, on no. my wish list right from no, the beginning no, come of this on. thing. Because it was a panicked call, and it was yesterday at about <laughs> seven at night. So who? Who canceled? Is what I want to know. I just it wanted happens. you to re-experience getting up yeah. in, at like minus a billion degrees <laughs> and having to walk through the parking lot. That's all it was about. You did turn on the butt warmer in your car this morning. I admit did. It. Admit it. I did. Yeah. yeah I mine's did. on too. Neil and I, we literally have that on, what, 10 months of the year? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Because it's always cold. Because the rest of the time that it's not actually warming you, it's kind of a therapeutic massage. It's nice. It's, sort of, hmm. it's when you start, it's when you start uh, coming in late that it becomes a problem. Well, yeah. You're sitting out in the parking lot enjoying your butt warmer. Seat warmer. Yeah. Yeah, a little too much. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, hey, that's the time of year that we're at where I mean, we've been lucky so far. We haven't had to shovel anything. Yeah, you don't have to shovel anything. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite and thing. And now then now we've got the competing weather forecast for the what? winter. Because the chief meteorologist at the Weather Network is saying we're going to get pounded with all kinds of storms because this year's system resembles 2007-8 when Toronto got a lot of storms, but then you've got the leading forecaster, Dave Phillips at Environment Canada, saying, no, it's not going to be that bad. So who to believe? They don't know tomorrow's high, yet they're telling me about <laughs> February. <laughs> no, no. This whole thing is just, you know, come on, guys. It's it's the farmer's almanac. You're you're throwing dice at a wall. <laughs> come on. Yeah. In terms of a long-term thing. I know, it's true. Well, if you get this afternoon right, we can talk about February. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I had a friend uh, that I used to, he was my media, I actually, a, a bunch of morning shows ago had an official meteorologist. The show had its own meteorologist. His name was Dr. Mel Goldstein. Doctor. Yeah. He was, a, he had a, and, and so his meteorological He was degree. a podiatrist, but he yeah. was a doctor. <laughs> he was a doctor. Yeah. Uh, he wrote, he actually is the guy who wrote the complete idiot's guide to weather. Uh, and so he had some cred in that. And he said anything further than 36 hours out, <laughs> we're guessing. They have no idea. <laughs> we're guessing. Yeah. yeah. Right. See? So well, I, you know, and once upon a time in a world long time ago, I worked at the Weather Network and so took <gasps> some basic meteorological, medi I can't even say it, <laughs> meteorological training. Right. And the fifth day of a five-day forecast is 10% accurate. Wow. Are you serious? Yes. So when you look at, when you go to Environment Canada and you look five days out, that's 10%. That's a dartboard. Uh, yeah. Yes. That's a yeah. dartboard. Yes. Actually, a dartboard, you've got a better shot. I think so. Holy smoke. Well, my, my only weather thing from the last few years was that ice storm at Christmas uh, a <gasps> few years ago. Because yeah. I live out in, I, I, I'm, I'm a kilometer off a gravel road. That's how remote, <laughs> that's, that's how remote I am. Yeah. And uh, there we were at Christmas, my wife and I in this old farmhouse. And uh, a buddy of mine lent me a, uh, a, a little generator and we were able to get Netflix on. And there we were, day four, in a parka watching yeah. Netflix. And, and Julie looked over and she goes... This isn't grown up. So now we have, <laughs> now we have a real generator hooked Good. up to the to the thing. That yeah. was pretty intense. There were people in southern Ontario who were with a week without, at least I, a week. Yeah. I was with, I was without for a week. Yeah, yeah, insane. Things freezing and. Oof. Yeah. And and ooh, yeah, let's hope they're wrong about who's the guy at the weather now. Let, let's hope he's wrong. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm trusting Dave Phillips. Let's go with that. Let, we're going with Dave Phillips. For me, Dave Phillips is this close to climbing out of a burrow once a year to tell us <laughs> what's going on. So that's, that's how much I trust him. <laughs> Partridge Family here, featuring the late great David Cassidy, and I think I love you. I'm sleeping and right in the middle of a good.